Hey guys, uh, a lot of you been asking how you do uh, Apple and Rip Desktop over the internet, or if it's possible, and yes it is, I decided to do a video on it. So on one computer, obviously you're going to need Apple and Rip Desktop. And then on your client computer, we're just going to have to configure some stuff. So first we're going to head over to the client computer. First, um... We're going to have to do a bunch of uh, port forwarding, blah, blah, blah. So we want to get a static IP so the IP stays the same every time. And the end user or the client, the one you're helping, is going to have to configure it every time you want to help them. So first you're going to go into system preferences. Then you're going to go into network and whatever internet connection you use, airport or ethernet. And you're going to want to go over to advanced. And then TCP IP. And you'll see this says using DHCP, which means every time it goes, it connects to the router, it's going to assign it a different IP, which we don't want. So you're going to go up here and click use DC, DHCP with manual address. And we'll type in 192.168.1.5. Okay. Next, we're going to go back, show all, Alert from apply. Then we're going to go into sharing. This is where you'll f configure where you want what uh, access is the administrator will have. So you can check that. And then you can set um, privileges for the different users. So on like this account, we could say they can't control. And on this account, they are allowed to control. But for this, we're going to do all users. So options, we're going to say observe, control, show or, show and being observed, generate reports, all that. You can read when you get to it. So we're going to click OK. And next, we're going to have to port forward. So we're going to go back to show all, network, advanced, TCP slash IP. And you'll see your router IP right here. You're going to want to copy that. Click OK, and then go into Safari. I'm going to paste that up here, and you're going to have to type in your router information, which you, the defaults are like admin, admin, admin password, stuff like that. You can just do a Google search for that. Um, this is where you're going to do port forwarding, so I'm going to show you on Linksys, but for other routers, you can just go to portforward.com. I'll put it in the description. You're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom and find your router. Like find right here. You're gonna wanna click that and then it'll give you a list of you're gonna click click skip the advertisement. Scroll down, give you a bunch of applications you're gonna do. Wrong one. I'm going to click Apple Remote Desktop. And you'll scroll down and it'll tell you what to do for your router and what ports you need to put on. So I'm going to show you that. So we're going to do Application Gaming. So I already typed in the ports. I'll put them in the description too. And one, two, five. And for one and two, they're the same port. And three and four, are the same port. And here, you have the option to pick TCP, UDP, or both. And when I did both, for some reason it doesn't work, so I had to create create a separate one for each one. So you're going to type in 3283, 3283 for two. This one will be TCP, then this will be UDP. Do that for the port 5900. And for port 22 or 22, you just have to use TCP. So then you want to go back into system preferences, go to network, and this IP right here, that's the IP of the computer. So I'm going to go back in here and you're going to want to type in 192.168.1.5 and you're going to want to enable these. Don't need that one. Okay, then we're going to save that. Okay. So then, on still, on the client computer, you're going to want to go to ipchicken.com, 
and I'm not going to show you my actual IP, but the IP you're going to give the administrator is for that 123.456.7.8 is, and that's what they're going to type in on their desktop. Now you're going to head over to the administrator computer and open up remote desktop. And you want to go in all computers. You want to go file, add by address, and you're gonna and you're gonna want to type in that IP from ipchicken.com from the client, and then you want to type in the uh, username and password of an administrator on the client computer.